Federal agents are now investigating the PGA Tour in an ongoing spat with a Saudi-backed golf league called Live. The Department of Justice is looking for any potential antitrust violations after the tour's commissioner suspended any players who take part in the Live golf events. The PGA Tour is based in Ponte Vedra Beach. Many people are critical of players who join Live Golf because it's funded by Saudi Arabia, a country accused of human rights violations. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci tells us Tiger Woods and a local pro golfer are reacting to this news. The PGA Tour and new competitor Live Golf are at odds. The Ponte Vedra based tour is the longtime leader in U.S. professional golf. But Live, backed by Saudi Arabia, is giving PGA a run for its money by winning over big name golfers with massive guaranteed paychecks. I just don't see how that, that move is, is positive in the, in the long term uh, for a lot of these players, and especially if. Uh, the live organization doesn't get world ranking points and they don't in the major championships change their criteria uh, for entering the events. Tiger Woods spoke today in support of the PGA Tour, critical of live CEO Greg Norman. Uh, I know Greg tried to do this, you know, back in the early 90s. Um, it didn't work then and um, he's trying to make it work now. And I still don't see how that's in the best interest of the game. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan has taken some heat for indefinitely suspending any golfers involved with Live. It paves the way for a potential legal battle. So it leaves it leaves the the question to people who are thinking, is it a lifetime suspension? Len Matisse is a longtime PGA Tour golfer who's competed in over 450 events. He tells us this is a tricky subject. Here's a tour that is throwing a lot of money at players guaranteed money and that is the exact opposite of what the PGA Tour is all about about performance you know um, you're only as good as how you perform that week. Matisse says a player has to get the PGA Tour's permission to compete anywhere else so this fight will surely end up in court. Is it a good idea to have the Department of Justice just take a look at everything that's going on? probably a good thing because ultimately this is going to be decided in the courts. I mean, judges, a, a one judge or, or a, a panel of judges is going to decide a number of things that we we're just talking about. You know, can a commissioner decide to suspend a player indefinitely? Um, does a player have to get a conflicting events release form? And if they apply for one, does it matter what tour they're applying it for? The tour shared this statement with us. This was not unexpected. We went through this in 1994 and are confident in a similar outcome. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.